Every now and again, a program will become unresponsive. This module will cover a simple way to close down or force quit applications or windows which are completely unresponsive. Now before I show you how to do this, and I'm going to use the example here of LibreOffice Writer, this window I have open here. But before I show you how to do this, I need to let you know that this is not a graceful way to shut a program down. And while that may just sound like computer geek or nerd speak or something like that, you really need to understand that if a program is accessing memory or it's accessing the hard drive or it's modifying important system files and you kill the program using the method that I'm about to show you, you can cause serious damage for your system. So you always want to try and get the program to close gracefully. At least that's that's how we uh, talk about these programs closing is gracefully. What I'm going to show you is how to use Xkill to close a window if you cannot get the program to shut itself down. If this program is completely unresponsive, you've given it enough time, you absolutely have exhausted all your options, then you can hit Alt and F2 and then you can type in the box X kill. This is going to bring up these little cogs and gears here. It's going to say X kill. You click on it and you'll notice that your cursor turns into an X. Now, from this point, whatever you click on, whatever window you click on is going to close. So if I click here anywhere in LibreOffice Writer, I'll click right here in the middle. Then Office Writer has closed down. Now again, this is not telling the program, hey, I'd like to shut down or I'd like to shut you down. I'd like to close you out. And so immediately what we're doing is we're severing the connection between your graphical user interface, that is the X server itself and the application. So you're terminating that application in a way that is not graceful, but can be useful if you happen to receive an unresponsive window. That happens from time to time in any operating system. If you're familiar with Microsoft Windows, then you know all about Control, Alt, Delete. Consider this something of an equivalent, although it doesn't bring up a task manager, but it allows you to end the process and without having to go into the terminal, find the process ID and terminate the program that way. Now, I will cover that in the section that covers using the terminal. However, Right now, this is a good place to start so long as you use Xkill very sparingly and wisely.